The woman stepped on the sand as if it was stuck to something. She couldn't pull her foot out, even with all her might. The man saw this and rushed forward to help, but just after running to steps, it fell and lay motionless on the sand. His body began to sink gradually, and soon only half of his face was left. The man was dead in just three seconds. The crowd felt terrified. Were there man-eating monsters under the beach? The bold Lisa stretched out her delicate little hand and slowly approached the sand. A scary scene happened. A white tentacle was born in the sand. At this time, the drunk Monday woke up, only to see his slender water snake demon enchanting twisting. The crowd saw the situation immediately, let him not move. A few people want to take a cell phone to the police, but the phone are placed in the trunk. In desperation, Monday could only squat on the trash can in a constipated position. The people found a huge eggshell, not far away and immediately understood. Wasn't this the egg that was fished out of the sea yesterday and prepared for barbecuing? It seemed that the monster had crawled out of the eggshell. In order to test the monster's attack range, Lisa took out a ham sausage and threw it onto the sand. As a result, the ham sausage was instantly sucked in by the sand. After throwing more than 20 tons of ham sausages, a safe place was finally found. However, it didn't help because the distance was too far for the crowd to cross. That's when Jake came up with an idea. He threw the paddle boards onto the beach and jumped on them. After a couple of jumps, he found that it was fine, and then he took the two paddle boards and moved forward alternately. The whole thing went very smoothly. However, it was no surprise that the director must have arranged for an accident. Just when Jake was about to climb onto the bench, the paddle board slipped. Fortunately, Jake reacted quickly enough and immediately used his 30-year single hand to stabilize the bench. The next second, the monster extended its long tentacles. It was a once-in-a-lifetime beach, only to see countless tentacles sticking out of the sand, immediately sucking in the man's stomach. Jake endured the excruciating pain and leapt up, managing to climb onto the bench. However, the 16 pack abs on his chest had been scratched to a bloody pulp. Taking out the food in his bag, he prepared to replenish his nutrients, but the banana accidentally fell down. Jake instinctively picked up the banana on the ground and realized that the monster in the sand hand attacked him. Surrounded by a burning fire, it turns out that the monster is afraid of fire. At this point, Jake's wounds begin to show decay, so he lies down on the bench and waits. Emma decided to take out her cell phone from the trunk to call the police. She carefully stepped on the bumper, pulled Mia tightly in front of her, and struggled to open the trunk. She ended up getting her legs stuck in the trunk and immediately brought a long stick to help. Seeing the trunk slowly open, the result of Emma's feet slipped, hands directly stuck in the trunk. At this time, a police car drove over in the distance. A few people told the agent, there is a man-eating monster in the sand. Let him not just get off. But the agent simply ignored them and stepped right out of the car. Strangely enough, nothing happened to him, but it turned out that the leather shoes he was wearing were blocking the monster's attack. At this time, the agent ski fell down. He immediately reached out his hand to pick up, but the result of the hand could not pull out. He took out his spray and sprayed it into the sand, and by the time he got it out his arm had been eaten. Not a moment too soon, the agent also fell to the ground dead. The clueless few were instantly flabbergasted. David decides to follow the agent's example of wrapping something around his feet. He asked Mia to throw him the sunscreen, and in his excitement, he fell right off of it. Countless tentacles engulfed him instantly. This was a mysterious beach. Once the skin touched the sand, it would be devoured, leaving only blood behind. Several women saw this and immediately prepared to escape. Emma, who was walking at the end, slipped and fell straight to the ground. Not even a hair left. Monday on the other side had been crouching in a trash can for hours, blood already rubbing out from the edges of her body. The monster crawled up along with the blood, and the next second, two horrible beasts appeared in the trash can, instantly pulling the 800-pound Monday down. Soon Mia managed to run to the car with her feet wrapped in clothes. She pulled the lifeboat out of the car and proceeded to save Lisa and the injured Jake. However, just as Lisa was about to hide in the car, the monster reappeared. Lisa immediately climbed onto the roof of the car and took out 99 gasoline and poured it around. Just as the monster was about to attack her, she ignited the gasoline. The monster was burned alive like a grilled squid. Mia saw this and immediately opened the car door. Lisa had just climbed into the car when the monster chased after her. Luckily, Lisa had a protagonist aura and the two embraced, finally keeping the monster out of the car. The monster bounced around outside the car for a while and soon stopped moving. The next morning, the injured Jake is cold. That's when a diver finds them, but the monster has disappeared. Lisa slowly puts her feet in the sand and nothing happens. Now there are only two women left, Lisa and Mia. The monster went back to the sea and started looking for a new target. This is the end of the movie. If you like it, please like and follow us. See you in the next installment.